Hello, in this CEMU video, I'm going to show you how to set up your PlayStation 4 controller to your well, emulator, which is a Wii U emulator on Mac. I'll have a video in the description, there will be links so you can you know, learn how to set up the emulator on the Mac, but if you've got that or done, we're all good to go. Again, just need to say, this video does not condone piracy, it is for educational purposes only. Really simple to do. Any PS4 controller will work. The one where the light comes through the touch bar, that works the new ones. The older ones where the light is only on the back, that works as well. Because they all have regular Bluetooth, unlike the Xbox controllers, which is, you know, it's just, they're just more hassle than they're, you know, worth it sometimes. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is sync your controller up. To do that, go to System Preferences, go to Bluetooth. And here we go. So we need to put this into pairing mode. The way we do that is press the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time for a few seconds. And this will, light will start flashing. So let me just show you that now. So the light has started flashing. As you can see, it appears here. If I click connect, this will turn solid. So that means it's now connected. We're all good in terms of connecting it to our Mac. Now we can close this. Open up CEMU, recommend having it closed, but you can sort of reload in there anyway, but it's just better if you just have it closed and reop reopen it once you've connected this up. To map the controller, go to Options, Input Settings, and from here, first of all, you want to select the game controller that you're emulating. Most of the time, just emulate the Wii U gamepad because all games will support that, where the Pro Controller may or may not be supported. So the gamepad is the recommended one. And for the controller, select, uh, I mean, I've already got PS4 controller, it works there. If it's if it doesn't appear there, you want to, uh, I will remove that. So this is what you'll see. Click plus, go to the API, SDL controller, Click that PS4 controller. If you don't PS straight away, just you know, just do this a few times, and I'll find it usually appears. So PS4 controller, click add, and by default it does do some mapping. And obviously, if you want to remap any of the controls, like if I want to swap, so by default it's put circle as you know A and X as B because you know they're you know flipped if you compare it to a Xbox controller. So let's say if I press that and if I press X, we've got that. But you know what? I'll keep it as the default. And, and that's what you have to do. And the by default, it does a very good job. And if I move the analog sticks, as you can see, they work as well. And feel free to map these. If you want to remap them, um, you let's say if you want to map this to so the left stick is press uh, press up. There you go. I'm going to map it back and you click it in for the right stick click and the left stick click as well. And that's just for the d-pad other than that you're all good to go obviously map it however you want feel free to create different profiles save them for different games for different genres you can do all that stuff as well next what you want to do is for the blow mic some games might require that press that just press oh, press the touch bar and you you're good to go you could map something if you wanted to, to the show screen i don't need that so i'm gonna leave that as it is and you're good to go. Now I'm going to click X. Make sure it is, you know, save. Make sure there's no issues. Yeah, we're all good to go. I'm going to open up new Super Mario Bros. U and show you it working. Oh, CEMU has crashed. Ignore that. You're going to get crashes in stuff like emulators. It happens. Let me lower the volume down a bit. Okay, so as you can see, with the D-pad, I can move left and right, up and down. And I'm going to go to a challenge, so I don't have to see all the intro. Uh, I pressed back. I was tr pressing X, so that was my bad. Let me just go back onto it. Um, pressing the wrong buttons. So that's, a, that's a me problem. Down. Circle. Circle. Circle circle i really should have them flipped for me because i'm used to especially on the playstation time trial yes okay so you'll see it working now so i can move right left i can jump i can do all sorts of stuff let me play a little bit until i die oh, 
can't hit this guy. I forget it. It's fine. All done. So that is how you set up the PlayStation 4 controller on your Mac to use it on the CE MU emulator. I'll have a separate video covering how to set up your PS5 controller, Xbox controller. Might even show you how to do some, you know, Wii U, some Wii controllers, some Nintendo Switch controllers. Let me know what you would like to see. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.